Hey guys. guys! Welcome to our tiny floating home! Today we're going to give you a quick tour of our 30 year old performance sailing catamaran. Let's go! My name is Billy, this is Sierra, and this is our dog Jetty, and this is Adrenaline, our full-time floating home and office. Join us as we sail, surf, swim, dive, fish, and kiteboard through new and exotic places every day. Make sure you subscribe below and sit back and enjoy. We already did a boat tour like when we first got this boat maybe two years ago and it needed a lot of work and we've done so much work to it in the past two years while we have been living on it and traveling and, and doing some work in between. And we've been getting a lot of comments lately of an updated boat tour so we wanted to show you the ins and out of everything we've done, some things we still need to do and just to give you an idea of what it's like to live on a performance sailing catamaran. An older performance sailing catamaran. This was 1988 so it's over 30 years old but she's treating us really well. She's a little bit different than your typical catamaran that you would see. If you guys are super interested in this and you haven't seen our first boat tour, I recommend to maybe check that out first. Just pause this video, open it up. I'll put the link in the description and then come back and check the rest of this tour out. Let's get on it. Let's go. Welcome. So this is our main cabin area. The hulls are not connected to the main cabin, so that's one of the big differences on our boat. Um, but still a good space. Has pretty low headroom, but Billy and I are both lucky because we're pretty short. As we come in, we have our whole electrical panel behind this door, all the wiring, the inverter, and all that good stuff. This counter holds everything pretty much and it becomes the center of the mess. Cameras, computers, chargers, all that kind of hangs out on here, non-slip pads so it doesn't go flying everywhere. Under our fancy curtain, we have our freezer, our angle freezer. This whole thing slides out and that is awesome. Our drying rack, a little charging station over here, drawer with scissors and lighters and pens. This one's spices, this one's tape lights and batteries, and then we have our bookshelf. This whole table goes down, you take the legs off, and the table sits in these little tracks right here, and it makes a full bed. So this is where we sleep when we're underway. Under all the couches, we have more storage. And flour, sugar, yada, yada, yada. There's another one, goes all the way down. And same on this side. Awesome. All three boats, we've had these hanging fruit and vegetable hammocks, and they are amazing. They're empty right now because we haven't been to the grocery store, but... They're really cheap on Amazon. I'll, I'll put them in the link in the description. Our fans, our fans are a lifesaver. 12 volts, so they don't use much energy, but when it is hot, they are a This is where we store our fishing poles. This whole area is our galley. This is a propane stove and oven, and it works amazing. And here, we have more storage. One of the biggest water savers, I would say, is having this salt water pump. You pump it with your foot. You can wash everything in salt water and then just rinse it in fresh water. This is our refrigerator. It is another 12 volt, just like our freezer. There's actually a lot of room there. It goes down pretty, pretty deep. More storage in all of these, forks and knives. This is where all of our cups are. Next, we're going to go in our hull. our hull with our bed. It is a little bit smaller than a full size bed. But like I said, we're short, so whatever, it works. For our clothes, we have little cubbies back here, which Billy's is on the left, mine's on the right. And then we have a shelf for our towels and my shorts and whatnot. We actually did design a step for her to get up on the bed. More storage under here, bathing suits and everything. This is our bathroom. This is one of the things that is 
pretty high on the list of things to redo when we do our next project. We need to paint the walls, we need to put a covering on this. This comes up, and this is our shower. We get hot water if the port engine has been running for a little bit. So if the port engine gets warmed up, then we can get hot water out of all our faucets. Here we have tons of storage. All of our bathroom needs. Manual pump toilet, so not like a normal toilet in the house, but it works. Ventilation. This is our uh, our daggerboard housing where the daggerboard slides in. This is our closet, extra parts, fuel, and coolant area. So our clothes hang on this rack right here. Go up there. And then we have extra storage compartments in here, which houses coolant and oil and all that good stuff. And there's another set in the back. And this compartment goes back really far all the way to the rudders. I don't know if you guys can see that. But again, we don't fill that whole area with storage. We try, we just have these clothes, some bags, and our laundry, and that's about it. Jetty's food and stuff right there. And that's pretty much it for our starboard side of the hall. Okay, onward. This is our port hull or our guest hull. This is my man cave actually. <laughs> so just like on the other side, we have, uh, this is where we keep our wetsuits and our foul weather gear, extra life jackets. It goes way back, all the way back there. It's like our wet locker kind of. Right now we have like our bed folded up and just kind of tools in here because we've been working on some projects. But when we have guests, this is a whole bed, it's exactly like the other side. Same thing, dagger board, bed, shower. While we were redoing all of this, we had to replace the water tank, so we don't have the cabinet that we had in the other one. But same thing, shower, manual head. That's about this on this side. Instead of like bathing suits on the other side, this is camera gear, extra cords and cables. Here's an engine compartment on this side. There are Yanmar 2GM engines and they're both 13 horsepower and they're 30 years old. Still going. This we have this nice little slide thing. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit around the outside of our boat. One of the cool features about this boat is that we have this big back deck area. One of the previous owners just put Trex decking down. A few months after we got the boat, we made a hard bimini. We realized we really wanted some shade back here. In the Dominican Republic, we got some canvas made just for some extra shade to come off the back bimini. And when we're sailing, we just roll it up and mount it here, and then that way the main sheet can travel through here. Our solar structure here, a 325 watt solar panel up here in addition to our 300 watt uh, Renogy flexible panels on our hard bimini and it's also our dinghy hoist. So we have two block and tackle systems on each side and that way we can raise the dinghy up, over, and then place it on this back platform. And then when we're sailing, we just cinch the dinghy down really tight. This is one of our helm stations. We have two helm stations um, and they're all connected. All the steering is connected, but we have one uh, throttle control station. So this controls both of our old Yanmar engines. So we have like the simplest autopilot you can imagine. It's just an old Raymarine electronic wheel drive unit. Depth, this is where we mount at our iPad with Navionics for our navigation. We do have a backup navigation, a little Dragonfly unit that gets mounted here. We got a compass on each side. And then when we hit a new speed record, we ring our speed bell. Our speed record is like 16.3 knots, something like that, surfing. We got a lot more left in her though. And then we got a winch on both sides. Most modern catamarans have big sugar scoop sterns. We have like little tiny sugar scoop sterns, really, really narrow. Just keep it in line with our narrow slender poles. This is our running backstay system or adjustable backstays because we got a new square top mainsail, but we still have a conventional rig. So we use these adjustable backstays to bring the leeward one forward so that we can, uh, it doesn't get in the way of the square top mainsail. So we have two secondary winches back here, this and on the other side, our lifelines and our aft stanchion frame. And on that stanchion frame, we have our controls for our dagger boards, 
Uh, one line lifts the dagger board, the other line clamps the da dagger board nice and tight. Our dagger boards are they're up, right up here. We use them pretty much only when we're going like close hauled into the wind and we'll put both of them all the way down. We got these new cushions made up in Long Island. We redid our lifelines with Dyneema lifelines. Uh, we went with ducks so that all the stretch is taken out of them. Uh, we did our stanchions. We did carbon fiber stanchions. We got this idea from another guy named Mike who was restoring his catamaran. This is where we keep our surfboards mounted. We've been using them a little bit so they're kind of in the way of the uh, sailing control lines but usually they're a little bit tighter up there. Our furling line right here. We redid all of our standing rigging with Dyneema and it's same thing. It's nine millimeter ducks. They're pre-heat stretched and then we use lashings for our tensioning system. Uh, I'll link to the video if you guys want to see more on all of that stuff. new sail cover on. It's actually a Mac pack from Mac Sails. That's been working out really well. It's just zippered on the top so our, our mainsail falls right into it and it just makes it so there's no excuse not to cover our mainsail, uh, which is also new. Sierra did our lazy jacks. Just helps the sail fall right into place. Those are Dyneema as well. We just topped off our, uh, our fresh water here with that squall that just passed through. That's why I'm wearing different board shorts. I just got soaking wet. So we just have a bunch of storage in here. This is where our diesel fuel tank is. We have our wastewater tank down there. Uh, diesel fuel tank, something like, uh, was it 23 gallons, I believe? What was that? Whoa. Oh, it's a bird. Look at that thing. Hi. I wonder where he came from. <laughs> Anyway, 23 gallons on each side. Our wastewater tanks are only like nine gallons each. Just a bunch of storage and it goes all the way up. We try to keep the heaviest things back and the lightest things forward and try not to fill it up too much. It's like I said, kind of a mess right now. We gotta get organized before we start sailing full time. We replace these seals around the hatch and then when we shut it, we just step on it and we can lock them down so we don't get water in there when we're sailing or anything like that. So right here we have our wet storage hatches, just all our lines here, our spare anchor and chains. We just got some fenders in, laying in there for now. Our new windlass and our main anchor and chain, and then just some uh, spare fuel tanks and stuff. They're all vented directly under the boat, straight to the water underneath. A three quarter inch drain plugs on both ends of the hatches. I do have intentions of making a cover for the two widest hatches just to kind of prevent a ton of water from dumping in there and maybe prevent the lines from getting uh, UV damage and stuff like that. But that's on the list somewhere. So this is one of the best parts of the boat up here on the trampoline. We got our beam bags up here. Way up here we have our cross beam. We replaced this whole cross beam because the previous owner didn't have the stainless steel plate isolated from the aluminum cross beam and it caused huge holes in there. We have our roller furling. We have 135% Genoa. Uh, we just got this sale new last summer, a year ago. This is our catwalk. The previous owner put these little uh, anchor chain channels to like help guide the chain and keep everything from getting all messy keep the trampoline lines from getting all chafed so that's pretty nice same trex boards as the aft deck back there we replaced all pretty much all the hatches on our boat uh, with lumar medium profile hatches we replaced all our chain plates with titanium chain plates so that they'll never have to be replaced again so this is where our propane tanks are stored two monster propane tanks that the previous owner put in here we got a lot of concern in our last boat tour video that these tanks were uh, mounted horizontally and I did a ton of research and I looked it up and I made sure that they're meant to be mounted horizontally. Um, so we haven't had any problems with them at all. And uh, yeah, the, the big propane tank lasted us over a year for our stove and oven and stuff up there, which is awesome. And this whole locker is completely sealed from the rest of the boat. And same thing, there's two like three quarter inch vent holes that go directly underneath the boat. So we added three 100 watt Renogy flexible solar panels. Back to our back, back porch again. We have this, uh, this is a plastic table we got from West Marine, but it goes on these uh, pedestal mounts, the universal pedestal mounts. And we have the same thing here for our magma grill that sits right here usually. 
Another reason I love this solar structure arch thing back here is because we have our own pull-up bar. Our home gym. That's something that a lot of boats don't have and it uh, it's really awesome. I like it a lot. So thank you guys so much for taking a little tour of our home here. It's not perfect. It's still a little bit of a work in progress. And if we had all the money in the world, we'd probably have something or, or do things a little bit different. But we're really, really happy with it. Then we're super happy with how it came out from how when we first got it. It's been so much fun. <laughs> it's been so fun. Well, the work part, work. a lot of you guys who have been with us for a while love the boat work and we hate doing the boat work, but it is satisfying in the end and it's cheaper and we learn a lot and it's rewarding because nah, it's just rewarding. Let us know what you think about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you're subscribed and the little bell notification below is clicked so that you get notified when our videos come out and... Let us know, are you watching this video because you are looking to live on a boat? Do you think you could ever live on this boat? And if not, what kind of boat are you looking for? Because we always want to hear that kind of stuff. Peace. Bye guys.